hello everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can fix indexing issue in your website and most of the blogger complain that they will get this error like discover currently not index or crawl currently not index so how we can fix this error in search console and index our website in google so before that let's understand how this website is affected so here as you can see this is the website where the indexing problem is occurring and this is a new website and the domain age is around one month and there is already 8 to 10 blog posts published in this website and here as you can see the about us page the blog page and the contact page all are discovered currently not indexed so how you can fix this error so before that let me just copy a um, url from here and let me just click on inspect here and let me just click on enter so it will check the index data in google and show you the result okay this url is now index but before it will showing that it is discovered but not index and here as you can see it is now saying it is already indexed in google and when we check the report coverage report it will show that it is submitted and indexed and it is showing that there is no referring page and it is already in the sitemap and the page is crawled by google bot smartphone and crawl is allowed and the page fetch successful and indexing is allowed and there is also mobile eligibility breadcrumbs and faq schema in this page so let me just copy another url from here so let's copy and another keyword like how to install wordpress on bluehost so let me just copy it and let me just paste it and click on enter so let's check if this page is indexed in google or not and here as you can see this page is not yet indexed in google and when we check this the crawl is allowed and the page fetch is successful and there is also indexing allowed in this page and the robot.txt is not blocking this page and user declare canonical url is this so how we can fix this error so before that we have to click on request indexing options so it will send a request to index the page so as there is no error from our side we don't do anything but to wait for the indexing so it will take some time so let's wait okay now the url is submitted let me just click on test live url so it will again test the live url and show you the result so let's wait okay the live test is done and here as you can see the web page is not indexed in search result and the crawl is done on 24th january which is the date of today and the crawl is allowed and page page is successful so we just need to wait for google to index this page we can do anything for that and let me just click on mobile eligibility and let's check if the page is rendered properly or not so i will click on view tested page and i will click on screenshot and as you can see the page is rendered successfully and it will be indexed very soon and make sure to check the page is mobile friendly or not and before that let me just go to the coverage report and here i will click on excluded and i will click on discover currently not index and as you can see the last updated date is 22 january so it will take some time to update this report and let me just show you how it works so this is the blog page which is not indexed in google but when we check in google it will be indexed so let me just show you so let me just copy the url and let's go to the google and i will type like site and i will paste the url here and i will click on enter and as you can see the blog page is now indexed so if you get this error like discover currently not indexed then don't worry it will be indexed very soon if the web page made certain conditions so let's check how we can 
index the blog post properly so before that let's understand how the indexing in google works so let me just open it in full screen mode and indexing occur in multiple phase first the google bot will crawl your website and check the robot.txt file if the page is not blocked by robot.txt then it will start the crawling otherwise it will show an error like submitted url blocked by robot.txt so you have to check the robot.txt file in your website whether the indexing is allowed on that page or not and the second error may be page content is not accessible by google bot and it will show an error like submitted url mark no index so if you put no index tag on that web page then google will not crawl that page and leave it as it is and another reason may be the page content malware so you have to check if the website is content malware or not and in some time the crawling failed because of the server is busy and showing a 5xx server error because it will happen in shared hosting plans where if you host a very big website in a shared hosting plan then server can handle the request and it will show a 5 access server error so in that case you have to contact your hosting provider and in some cases the delay the crawl request by google bot so sometimes google bot delay the crawl request and schedule it in a next day so that it will got the error like discovered currently not index because the google bot has to crawl the page first and then it will analyze the page and then add it to the serp result or search result so in the analyze section let's understand how the google bot analyze the page so first of all it check the content is original or not so if the content is not original then it will show an error like crawled currently not index because google is already crawled that website and it is showing that it will not index the page and it will show the error like crawled currently not index or in some cases the title and description is different and the actual content in that page is different so if the google bot found title and description is not matching the actual content then it will not index the page and if your page has too much plagiarized content or if your page has too much grammatical error then it will not index that page and make sure to check the page's mobile friendliness so to check the mobile friendliness you can use the mobile friendly testing tool of google and also check if the page has sufficient content and this happen to most new website so if you are designing the website and put some dummy text like lorem ipsum then it will not index the page because google will think that this page is currently in customization or the current page is not yet ready to index in google then it will show a soft 404 error like if the page has only header and footer or contain a dummy text or placeholder image like that then it will not index that page and the next issue is canonical issue and this issue occur if your website has multiple variants like if your website is accessible to http double dot www dot xyz dot com or if the page is already accessible in http version and https version and if the website has www version and non ww version so in that case you have to set a canonical url which one do you like to prefer and if this problem is occurring in your website then it will show a soft 404 error so you have to fix this error to properly crawl the page and index in google so after that google will determine the best position for your website and so let me just show you how to fix this error so let me just go to the dashboard and here i am using the rank math plugin so i will click on rank math here click on title and meta settings and here make sure to set the robot meta to index otherwise your page will be blocked by robot.txt and google bot will not crawl your page and leave this setting by default and let's go to the home page setting and you can edit the home page metadata also by going to the edit page section 
now let's click on post section and scroll down and here you have to leave this index and here you can set the link suggestion to title and let's scroll off and set the article type to blog post and you can set the description and schema title like schema type like article and let's click on pages and also leave this setting as default and you can click on category and you can turn on the robot meta tag so i don't generally index the category page so i will click on no index and for tags also i will set no index so in this way you can already block the category and tags and only index the post and pages of your website now let's go to the sitemap setting and rank math will automatically generate the sitemap for you so let me just open the sitemap for this website and here as you can see there is a post sitemap and page sitemap so i will click on post sitemap and as you can see all the blog posts are already in the sitemap but some of the url are not indexed by google because it is not started the crawling of that page and as the website is new we have to wait for some time to index it properly and let me just go to the instant indexing option and here you can add the bing api so that it will index the page faster and you can also use the google api indexing just search for google api indexing and it will add the option to instant indexing of google now the rank math setting is done let me just go to the coverage setting and you have to copy the url individually and click on the inspect url so let me just copy a url from here and i will paste the url and click on enter so it will check whether the page is already indexed in google or not so let's wait and as you can see this page is not yet indexed in google and this is because the website is not crawled by google bot yet so you have to wait for the google bot to crawl that page so what we can do is just click on request indexing option so it will ping the google bot to crawl this page so this is not a severe error that you have to worry about you just need to wait for some more days okay now the indexing is requested all you need to do is just wait for some days and it will automatically index in google and here as you can see there is already four pages index in google so this is the host getter review and this is the seven must have wordpress plugin for beginners and if i go to the coverage section and go to the excluded section and let me just click on discover currently not index and let's scroll down and here as you can see the blog page is showing discover currently not index but it is already indexed in search result so all you need to do is just wait for some days and it will automatically index in google you just need to copy the url and paste it in the inspect url section and send a request only and then you have to wait for the google to index it in search result and let me just click on it and you can take the help of this mind map to properly understand how the indexing work so let me just open it in a full window and this is the mind map you just need to consider whether it is blocked by robot.txt or the page contain any malware or if the google bot delay the crawl request or if the content is original or not and check if the page is mobile friendly or page has sufficient content on it and you have to check the canonical issue so if you follow this process and fix the issue then you can easily fix the indexing problem in search console and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you